Okay, so I'm going to do a review of the two-part uh, story arc in the MLP comics from IDW called Zen and the Art of Gazebo Making. Now, this comic, now, the last two comic story arcs involve huge cataclysmic uh, epic story arcs. The first one being the, ch the rise of the, the Revenge of the Changeling Empire, and the other one dealing with um, the, a nightmare rarity. This one is focused on Mac in, a day in, the, in the day life of Ponyville. And it's hilarious. That's because that was the whole point of this comic book, is that apparently Katie Cook, this is something she wanted to do, is just have fun with it. You know, have epic story arcs, but to have fun as well. So this is more or less a two-part filler until we find out what's going to happen in issue 11, which, I don't know, because I've been hearing a lot of things about the, the later story arcs that are planned, and I don't know how much of this is true. Is like, there's going to be a, st a story arc with Sombra, which I really want, because you can do so much with Sombra, so... Somber story arc would be great, and who knows, maybe someone with Discord, I don't freaking know. But, in fairness, I don't really know what's going to happen to issue 11, guess we'll just have to wait and see. But anywho, this is just going to be my review of this two-part story arc, and boy was it a lot of fun. Now, yes, I know, the background, you see the background characters on this uh, issue cover right here for issue 10, even though this is a Big Mac-centric story, they play a big part in this story arc. And also, I couldn't help but, you know, put this... Uh, put this, use this cover for the picture because this is actually, believe it or not, this is actually a pair, a reference to a classic DC comic, uh, Justice League International, the pre-52, and I love it. I thought it was a cool reference cover, and I was like, I'm using that because it has Octavia, Derpy, Doctor Hooves, and PJ, and you know, Vi and DJ Pwn3, aka Vinyl Scratch. So I was like, I'm using this. So the whole story arc, in a nutshell, is Big Mac going... Uh, our main hero of this story is Big Mac going around trying to find nails for fixing a gazebo, and he ends up in this Ponyville festival, and everyone needs his help. And this is really interesting, because even though the only two were... He barely says anything, we get the inner workings of Mac's mind, and he has a lot to say, only he doesn't say it vocally, he just says it all mentally. And it's just shenanigans, that's all it is. This whole comic is just full of shenanigans. And if I say shenanigans one more time, I, I swear to God, someone's going to come and pistol with me, aren't they? That's, a, that's also a reference to another one. And speaking of references, this is filled with them. We've got references to Nightmare Before Christmas, Twin Peaks, My Neighbor Totoro, uh, Green Lantern, The Beatles, uh... So many other things. There's so many little Easter eggs. In fact, there's a reference in the second part of the comic, in the second issue, where Mac finds Charlie, and he makes a, a direct Spaceballs reference. Like, it took me a second to realize that. I'm like, wait a second. Oh, that's a Spaceballs line! Oh, that was so cool! So, we've got a Spaceballs line in here as well, so... Yay! I, lo I love that movie. Um... Anywho, there's not a lot to say about this other than it's just really funny. I mean, we've got Big Mac caught in all these situations while he's just trying to find nails, and the ending of it all is really funny. I really love the ending to this, because it's just... This is something like you would see in an episode. This is very episode-heavy. Um, I mean, yeah, you can definitely see the other two story arcs as episodes, but this is something you could see as a cool little filler episode. And that's what it is. It's a fun little filler. And... Yeah, we get talk we actually get D um, Vinyl and Octavia talking in here. That's so cool. We've even got Derpy talking, Doctor Who's talking, and they all play major. Ro they all play good roles in here, and all playing off Mac, especially Princess Luna. She plays a big. She really plays off Mac in here, and also just saying, I now because of this comic, I now ship Luna Mac. What? <laughs> I, I'm, now, I'm now now shipping that now. I'm <laughs> so it, it was so ador. It, it was adorable. But, yeah, again, this is just fun references and fun... This is just a fun comic. It's not like this huge, epic, distro, all the equestria might burn, or something like that, or some ancient evil is coming. No, this is just a fun little comic. That is all I can say about this. It's just, it's just big... And it's fun to see outside the main six, um, someone outside the main six get their, you know, get a spotlight. So, and Big Mac's one of my favorite background char supporting characters, so it was fun to see, you know, a day, in a, a day in his life. So I thought that was pretty fun. The other things is, is um, actually, no, I think I've pretty much covered everything, is that this is just a really quick, con this is a really fun read. I think this is also a pretty good jumping on point if you're a fan of the series and want to get into the comics. 
I'd say if you, you weren't able to get onto the first few story arcs, try to find the back issues of number nine and then go find number ten because this is a two issue story arc. Or this is a two part story. They do actually play catch up with um, the main six. You do see them in the background mentioning bits and pieces of their pre of the previous two stories. And, yeah, as well as some things from the micro-series as well, which I've not been able to read. But, I'm really hoping we get, like, uh... I'm wondering, like, what else are they gonna do now, um, after this? Are they gonna do another filler arc or something like that? I don't know. But, anywho, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I know this was a short review, but hey, it was a short, fun story, and that's all I could say about it. Anyway, guys, I am out.